we are at Jerusalem looking at Mount of Olives and um, I will do something that I didn't do until today and I will walk from that area to the entrance to through the Dange, the entrance to the uh, old city uh, you can see here Garden of Gethsemane above it the beautiful church of um, of uh, Mary Magdalene and in front of us it's St. Stephen Church let's wait to cross the street and we will start our tour then let's try to cross the road safely we will delegate the tour to you of course to everyone who watch it and I will ask you to subscribe my channel it helps me a lot and to send the link to everyone that you know and to Carla Constance that bought the Bible the old and the new with a beautiful wooden uh, cover olive wooden color the cover that I will bless and send it to her house and you can do the too but here you can see the eastern wall of the temple and the golden gate that's where we believe the high priest used to go out on Yom Kippur and Jesus will enter as a Messiah or as God already into into the into Jerusalem but from here you can see beautifully the Joseph Valley and the Kidron Valley they divided Mount of Olives from Jerusalem and um, the Kidron Valley begins not so far away from here and ends at the Dead Sea Joseph Valley uh, the word Joseph is to judge God will judge um, the, the, the Gentiles the enemies of the Jews of Israel here as well the tomb that you can see far far away huh, we are so close to the, the place that uh, St. Peter heard the rooster call and here we are we can actually hear it too um, you can see a tomb from 1st century BC um, it's called Absalom tomb a son of King David I don't know if Absalom is buried there um, or not but um, but at least we know that it's quite old maybe they renovated this tomb at the time of King Herod who knows who knows but you can see all over that the Jews have been buried here because Mount of Olives is very important for Jews Christians and Muslim Rooster, you're right, and we will talk about it soon. But let's continue a tour. I'm usually doing with a, it with a car, um, with tourists. Um, I wanted to do that early morning, but the sun was in our eyes. N not to, uh, right now; it's better. I do have around 20k videos of the Holy Land. A lot of them are good, I must say, then if you want to watch them, I will be more than happy, then please subscribe my channel. And we can see here a lot of places. Now let me just continue a little bit to the south and I will stop soon to talk about the places. Ah, olive trees here, olive trees there, um, then if you want to subscribe my, uh, my channel I will be happy. If you want to have your own Bible or your own cross that will be blessed in Jerusalem uh, and uh, then go into the description and look for buy me a coffee link. If you want to find it send me a message and I will send you the link and if you want just to uh, help me a little bit with, with, to support my channel um, I promise to be better and better then you can do that through buy me a coffee link or uh, through uh, PayPal now in front of you you can see 
um, Garden of Gethsemane just came out of there and that is the place that Jesus was betrayed by Judas the garden itself is at the left part and they, it's now they close the gate of it no one could visit that place let's say until 2 p.m. it's different opening hour because of COVID above it is Mary Magdalene Russian church very important church and it's very important that we will actually pray that that the war between Ukraine and, and Russia will stop there's no reason for that above it left to the right you can see a small chapel this is Dominus Flavic that is where the Lord wept when he saw Jerusalem I visit that place as well early morning then you will be able to see the video on my channel can we continue yes we can that is good. March was a very cold month this year it was the coldest month ever in Israel but today and for the next days it's gonna be sunny and beautiful and hot look how beautiful it is you will see um, uh, Dominus Flavit in, from a better angle soon what I'm building here that's gonna be the main entrance to Garden of Gethsemane and the visitor uh, house as well um, there and um, uh, but it was built on top of um, two monasteries that he found there and they found a mikveh a mikveh what is a mikveh a mikveh it's a Jewish ritual bath the Jews are purified in their hand uh, sorry their body at least once once a week for the man and once a month for the lady olive tree and olive tree and Gethsemane did he ask yourself what is the meaning of that word because now we know that Joseph at Valley is judgment place Gethsemane is the place that you are pressing olive fruit into olive oil then in that case um, and it was a Jewish place you have to purify yourself because what you're doing is holy it's olive oil from Mount of Olives now the Jews believe that the Messiah will come come back from Mount of Olives the Christians believe that Jesus will come back from Mount of Olives now the Ascension Church is mm, difficult to see but what you will see on top of the hill is the here's the flag now we can see it the um, Ascension Church just behind it maybe we will see a little bit of it but not a lot that in that matter the Muslims believe in the same thing they believe that someone here God will build a bridge from Mount of Olives to Jerusalem. It will be very sharp. Then every Muslim will cross it. The good disciples will survive, but you know what will happen to the bad. To the bad Muslims. The bad disciples. Hmm. The cemetery here, the Jewish cemetery, and we have more than 150,000 tombs, is so important for the Jews because they know that when the Messiah will come and the Jews don't believe in Jesus, then don't say Jesus in that matter, um, when the Messiah will come, they will be the first one who will resurrect. Important. Quite important, isn't it? Then there are tombs from the time of King David until now, and we already saw Absalom tomb. 
in the valley, son of King David. I will try to show you uh, a place uh, from tombs from the time of King David himself, from 10th century BC. As you can see, we are following by the, by the wall to your right. This is the eastern wall of the city and eastern wall of the temple. Look at the green color. This is so green. We are not used to that color in less than a month. It's going to be brown again. The next rain that we accepted will be in the middle of, of November. Garden of Gethsemane. Ah, oh, forgot to mention another place. You will see it with the two flags. Here, two flags. In the valley, in the Kidron Valley, there is another amazing crusader church um, that marks, hmm? yeah, there, the tomb of Mary, according to um, Greek Orthodox. Armenians and until the 19th century by most of the Catholic as well. Why until the 19th century? Because now there is um, another option uh, from the 19th century to visit the House of Mary, at least the House of Mary, maybe not the Tomb of Mary, at Turkey next to Ephesus, very close to Ephesus. Look how beautiful it is! You can see how big is the Absalom tomb and behind it is Joshua tomb uh, compared to the people. Part of it is monolite, part of the rock there and the hole that you see there is uh, made by Robes, the one uh, who wanted to know how many coins, golden coins they will find there and the answer is I don't know. This is beautiful, isn't it? All right, from here you can see the three parts of Mount of Olive. That is Mount Kapos, with the Hebrew University on top of it, which is the highest place here. This is Mount of Olives, the one that we know, the famous one, but for me it's the same. And to the right, with the beautiful green trees of Abraham Monastery, a French one, it's a corruption month. That That is where we believe that King Solomon built for the non-Jewish uh, women some uh, pagan temples, altars. And in Hebrew it's al amashchit but there's another meaning it uh, the, for that word, mishcha. And that's where they used to um, produce olive anointing oil, mishcha. Then Aram Ashrit, corruption month, month of olives and month kapos. And look how beautiful it is. Another, that is half moon light. Here you can see Zachariah tomb, which is one 
stone, just like Petra. They did it from up to down. And the, uh, and the family of Hazir, it's to the left of the columns. And there's a kind of a rabbi in Buddha tomb. You can see the Hasidis now praying next to it and they color it with blue for good luck. And I don't know if you can see it, but our goats right there with the shepherd, with the good shepherd somewhere. So many things, so many things. You can understand now to visit Jerusalem one day, it's almost mission impossible. You can see now the corner of the eastern and southern wall of the temple. And according to what we believe, Jesus was tested by the devil there. He just told him, jump. If you believe in, uh, uh, in God, he will catch you. Carla, you're still blessing your Bible. Such an important place to visit. And sadly, because um, usually the tourists do Jerusalem, visit Jerusalem one or two days, we're skipping that place. We are using a car. We are uh, driving a car here and talking through the car. But to walk here, it's got a different meaning. Then you need 10 days for Jerusalem, not two. We are reaching soon two important places, then don't go away. I know that you're watching that video for almost 16 minutes. I don't know what, <laughs> well, uh, if I will be able to continue until the end because um, the battery is a little bit low now. All right. From here, let me look, let me go there. I want you to see tombs from uh, first century. From a uh, diamond King David, sorry. See the windows on the cliff? Those are tombs, Jewish tombs from the time of King David. And we call that building that I'm just hiding now um, the daughter of Pharaoh. I don't know if it's hers or not, but um, what we checked is that it is. Um, that area was so empty, no houses, until um, the beginning of the 1920. Now it's so crowded. And it was built on top of the Jewish cemetery. That's the corner of the... That's the corner of the eastern and the southern walls. And I want you to see City of David. And then we will talk about the Ophel, the southern wall. Parking place. Kidron Valley. The city of David is there, but you cannot see it from here. Can we wait a little bit? Meanwhile, you can see the southern wall that basically was built by King Herod, at least the lowest part of it, including the three arches, the block arches. Let me... Yeah, now we can see it better. That was one of the main entrances to the temple. Today, you can see Al-Aqsa Mosque on top of it with a grade on. Nice way to enjoy the city. From here, 
you can see a little bit of the wall, the Jewish quarter, right there, and Mount Zion. You can see the pyramid top, that's the house of Mary, the Dormition church, and next is, is the tomb of uh, King David and the room of the Last Supper. All of those places that I mentioned, you can find it in my YouTube channel, and of course more. And if I'm talking about the tomb, tombs from the time of Jesus, sorry, King David, look at the, now you can see the holes, the windows, the entrances, at the cliff, and you will find it all over the cliff there. Back here. Oh, King David built the city, not in the best place of Jerusalem. I mean, look at that. Every place is controlling the city, which is almost down the valley. Then why build the church, uh, the city there? He built it because of water. The only spring in, Jer in Jerusalem, of Jerusalem, in Jerusalem, uh, until today, is there that the one who controls water control um, the city. For so many years it wasn't a Jewish place, it was a Canaanite city, Javasite. And King David, when he conquered it, it was a holy city, but it wasn't owned by the Jews. When he conquered it, he decided to turn the, it to the capital of Israel. That, that it was almost obvious. From here you can see the Eastern Wall. That's where Jesus was judged by the uh, devil, by the Satan. You can see the entrances to the, to the temple. And look how beautiful is the Dome of Jerah. Um, sorry, an actor mask. And there are more things. I do have lots of videos of it. There's so many. It's like a Lego of history here. From walls from the time of... Uh, King Solomon, you can see the wooden stairs. You know what? Let me just. Ah, no, first I said the city, and then I will cross it to the other side. That area is still a Jewish tomb. You can see the Star of David. At 1967, uh, sorry, 1948, the uh, uh, Jordanians conquered the old city, and some of them took the um, tombstones to use it for the roads, for the houses, then we found a lot of them, but not all of them. Then here we don't know who is buried, or maybe we know he's buried, but we don't, we didn't find his tombstone. Then this is city of David. Everything that you see from here down the valley. Beautiful, isn't it? City of David, it's at least half day tour. Or if you want to do it quickly, not less, not less than three hours. It's not difficult to walk. It's very steep. But on the way back, you can take the shuttle. Five shekels and it's yours. I will show you later on where is the entrance to City of David. But I'm trying now to cross it. Thank you very much. And here, what some of us believe is the walls of King uh, Solomon time, from King Solomon time. Looks like that. It's a beautiful place to visit. It's called the Davidson Center. And I, I, I'm, I'm for it. I'm totally for it. Now, the walls from there, it's from the 16th century, built by Suleiman the Magnificent on top of ancient walls. It's a bar mitzvah day. Then it's so crowded here. Bar mitzvah is when you 
reaching 13 for the boys and you are becoming a man you will be a man when you will read the Bible uh, a chapter from the Bible to everyone because until age 13 you are not allowed to do that from age 13 sorry you are allowed to do that Then, this is from the 16th century, but you can see that it was based on top of ancient uh, wall. It can be from King Herald time. Then, to entrance to King David city, city of King David, will be soon to your left side. I'm sure that they actually celebrated Bar Mitzvah. I don't know if you can see the flags of Israel. There, that's entrance to King, uh, to city of King David, King, Saint, uh, King David city. Worth visiting. But I'm crossing now to the other side, if I will be able. You can see what's happening here. To show you excavations in process. All right, let's try to cross it. And this is part of the city of David as well. This is the street that they just um, uh, opened to the public, then you can actually visit it. All right, he's looking there, then I will go to the next window. Child will look. Oh, he's not looking. Ah, he's looking. Just like me, I feel like a child as well. Then you can see the excavations. We found there so many things. So many things. From uh, 6th century BC um, and up. No, well, actually, from. Uh, uh, the, Roman time before, uh, yeah, yeah, 6th century BC. I'm not sure that we found something earlier than that. But again, I'm not sure. It might be that we found. The Silum Pool is part of City of David. Worth visiting. It's not, it's not, it's a must. Especially in summertime when it's so hot outside, it's cool and nice there. Yes, it will help them. That's part of uh, being in East Jerusalem or in Jerusalem, and it's hot. I can show you a little bit of the excavation from there. Already 28 minutes. Now, if you will wait with me another two minutes, you will see the Dun Gate, the entrance to the Western Wall, one of the gates of Jerusalem. Here it is. City of David. Beneath those houses, we found so many things. But those houses are private and Arab houses. They won't sell it and we cannot buy it. But here it was a parking lot that we could excavate beneath it. We found a street that lately people mentioned that is from Pontus Pilate. Time. Yes, he built it. We thought that it was built by King Herod, but no. At least it was renovated by him. Then there are a lot of question marks, but it might be. This is the Dungate. Behind it is the Jewish quarter, which is new. Remember, the uh, Jordanians destroyed the Jewish quarter in 1948. The Dungate, the garbage gate. It's mainly because it was the lowest gate and uh, it's easier to throw some uh, garbage outside from that gate. And City of David was full with it, but that's why it's been saved. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go in and I will show you the western wall corner together with the southern wall corner. And that's when we're going to say goodbye. Wow! Lots of bar mitzvah celebrations. Here it is. Here it is. That's a corner over the western and western to the left and southern wall of the temple. You can see Al-Aqsa Mosque. And behind that bridge, the wooden bridge, it's the Western Wall Plaza that we know. But this is part of the Western Wall too. The net say, Carla, thank you for being with me. And I will say the same thing for everyone here. Thank you for being with me. And see you in my next video. Bye bye.